In this video, I am going to take a look at some of the less talked about characters in the newest Sumeru update and showcase to you their new potential. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Bloodline Heroes of Lithos. Now, I already talked about this game before, and I'm excited to tell you there's a ton of awesome stuff waiting for you. Now, the thing I love most about this gacha game is the literal bloodline in its word. You see, you don't just obtain characters here, you can actually create entirely new offsprings that will be better than their parents. Like, the child could become 10 times better woodcutter than his father. Or you could go freaky and just combine some random races like orcs and demons to produce scary babies that grow into powerful warriors. Just make sure to raise your companion's intimacy for best results. And there's a ton of races to choose from. There's Lycans, the dragonborn race of Karg, the badass looking demigods, or an extremely rare hybrid race of half dragonborn, half demigod. You can actually obtain one of these if you use my link right now. In fact, you can also obtain a starter package worth $30 by using my link in the description. But best of all, with all this free stuff, you also help support my channel. So make sure to check out Bloodline Heroes of Lithos and go make some offsprings, because new legends will be born. Look, I know, I'm just surprised as you to see a Geo character in this video, but I think Zhang Li deserves a mention. You see, out of all of the elements in the game, the only one that truly does not have any sort of interaction with Dendro is Geo, because Animo can still swirl elements on top of Dendro and cause the reactions, while Cryo can be utilized for freezing enemies and Bloom teams. But Geo has absolutely zero synergies with Dendro. So how exactly did Zhang Li become better thanks to Dendro? Well, the answer is kind of funny to be honest. Currently, as of 3.0, and even moving onwards with 3.1 update, there's just not a lot of different teams that you can build from Bloom or Quicken. I mean, you can build a lot of them, but usually there's a flexible spot left that can be taken over by any support, and it just so happens Zhongli can serve as a pretty good teammate. Now, the first obvious benefit he brings is shielding, but he can also shred all element resistances by 20%, including Dendro, and since the new Deepwood memory set only reduces Dendro resistance by 30%, which is weaker than compared to Verdescent Venerier, Zhongli's shield actually becomes pretty decent damage upgrade for various Bloom teams. In fact, you can even just give Zhongli the new Deepwood Memory set, he skills initial damage, and then the pulsing from the columns will trigger the artifact far set bonus. And for example, in a team with Tignati, Yaimiko, and Fischl, this actually becomes really useful for Tignati, because he can then use a dedicated damage set like Gilded Dreams, and on top of this, while he is busy unleashing charge attacks, the good old shield protects him from getting harmed, and for Bloom teams, he will be increasing Burgeon, Hyper Bloom, or just Bloom damage from his shield's resistance shred. And because he's mainly being used just for the shield alone, he remains pretty neutral to all the reactions that are happening. I mean, you could even use him as a driver for Elemental Mastery Raiden build, where she triggers Hyper Blooms from her skill, while Zhongli is built as a physical damage dealer. Either way, I think while Zhongli isn't necessarily the best support you can go for, he is definitely one and only Geo character in the current Dendro meta that can be utilized in both Wiccan and Bloom teams with pretty good results. I kind of feel like everybody who has Ayato are using him in Dendro teams, but nobody's really talking about him. I honestly think he is a really good Hyperbloom driver, especially now that there's a couple of strong teams he can be used in. Like, sure, unlike my previous video, you could easily see the damage increase coming from every character mentioned, but Ayato here isn't really getting stronger from Dendro. What he does offer though is utility and an important function for the Dendro teams. And what is that function? Well, as I just said, he is pretty good when it comes to producing blooms as a driver, and he can deal sizable raw damage. He is amazing both in Cookie and Raiden Hyperbloom teams, he works decently in Tomato Burging Comp, and in fact, you can even equip on him Thundering Fury set in Raido Hyperbloom team that's made up of EM Raiden, Beto, and Dendro Traveler, so that he can stay on the field longer with his skill. Sure, his damage will be lower than compared to Gladiators or Echo set, but with Thundering Fury, at least for this specific team comp, he is just an excellent driver for Beto's burst, and I think overall, if you compare him to someone like child, he's just super easy to use. I think Ayato is an excellent on-field hydro applicator, his raw damage numbers actually contribute a sizable chunk of the team's damage, and his overall playstyle in the new Dendro reaction meta fits really well. Lisa has always been a pretty solid unit, especially if you unlock some of her constellations, but I'm actually surprised to see how barely anyone's talking about her in this update. I mean, sure, Fischl and Kaching are absolutely dominating right now, but I would say Lisa is also pretty valuable in the new Quicken teams. 
In fact, these past few weeks, most of the Quicken teams I saw getting mentioned by other content creators, or even by myself, they were really aggravate teams that focus on capitalizing on electro damage. But it just so happens that Lisa is really good for spread teams. Well, to be honest, there's really only one spread damage dealer, and that's Tignati. But both of them surprisingly have good synergy. Like, first of all, Lisa's burst will shred enemies' defense by 15%, and that's a pretty big damage boost, not just for her, but for everyone in the team, especially Tignati. Her burst can also trigger up to 9 reactions, which means she can potentially cause up to 9 aggravates, and since her ascension stat is Elemental Mastery, something that previously was niche and kinda useless, now has become a great way to boost this burst damage. Now, it is important to acknowledge that her burst targets enemies randomly, but on the bright side, if they are grouped together very tightly, the burst attack actually has a small AoE, which is pretty awesome. I actually tested out Lisa on the media server back when I was reviewing Tignati, and I was surprised to see how good she was with him. And even now with the current Abyss cycle, her damage, support, and overall performance is significantly better thanks to Dendro reactions. But that doesn't mean she's perfect. Her burst still has a massive 80 energy cost, which means it's almost mandatory to use her with Fischl or Raiden to help her with energy, otherwise if using her with Tignari and she's the only Electro character, you could just hyper invest into her energy recharge, but that's giving up her damage basically. Although in the future when more Dendro characters come out who specialize in spread damage, this idea might sound more reasonable. Still, the team that I've enjoyed using the most was Tignati, Fischl, and an animal unit like Kazuha or Sucrose, although if you are running into problems with keeping the team alive, you could just swap out animal with Zhongli who I just talked about, or use someone else like Jean who can heal. Either way, I think it's kinda sad that the starter characters like Lisa or Kaya often get overlooked just because people get them for free when starting out in the game, because with enough time, you can actually unlock all of their constellations from the Stardust shop, and Lisa actually has a couple of constellations that improve her performance. But who knows, maybe I'm just biased here because I have a C6 Lisa. Although, let's be real here, Dendro reactions enable Lisa to aggravate her damage, and the fact that she can work really well with some Dendro teammates is more than enough to prove it's not the constellations that are putting in the work here. Fun fact, Razor was my first character I triple crowned. He also got pretty much abandoned after Eula came out. I always felt guilty for abandoning my wolf boy, but physical damage in general has been pretty lackluster, especially in the Abyss. But this is probably a topic for another video, and right now, I just want to talk about Razor's resurrection in 3.0. So the thing about Razor is that his burst works in a very interesting way. We recently saw on the livestream that Sino will be infusing his attacks with Electro, but that's not the case with Razor boy here. He still deals physical damage, while his wolf stand will be delivering wide electro attacks. So because of this unique combination of damage, what you can actually do is give him infusion to his physical attacks. For example, C6 Benny Boy will convert his attacks to Pyro while the Wolf is still attacking with Electro. And because of this cool interaction, if you also add to Razor's team Xing Cho and Dendro Traveler and equip Razor with a full Elemental Mastery build, he actually becomes a really good driver for Overload and Bloom reactions. It's kind of funny because, as I said before, I triple crowned all of his talents. But for this particular build, probably the only talent worth raising would be his burst because it will improve his normal attack speed. Everything else will be a small fraction compared to his elemental mashy damage from overloads and blooms. Now, what do you do if you don't have or don't want to activate C6 on Bennett? Well, this team can work without him, but you are going to be losing out on a big chunk of damage without Benny's Pyro Infusion. Honestly, it's up to you if you want to activate this constellation, but maybe sometime later in the future, there will be another character who can provide Infusion or some kind of boost for Razor, although I am just speculating here. But anyway, I can't really take much credit for this team. If you want to learn more about how to utilize this new and improved Razor with Dendro elements, check out Jeff's comprehensive guide and make sure to subscribe to his channel as well. I'm sorry I have to do this, but I specifically left this guy as the last character I want to mention in the video. Yes, I'm being serious right now. Xing Cho got even better with Dendro, as if he needed any more help with becoming more powerful. But the truth is, I've been building a lot of Dendro reaction teams, and Xing Cho got included in so many of them. You could also say the same thing about Yelan. They are, after all, similar, even if C6 Xing Cho has better Hydra application than Yelan, but still, 
teams like EM Raiden and Hyperbloom, the new Razor team comp, or basically any Hyperbloom or even Burgeon team, most of the time Xing Chou can be added into it and he will work really well. Now, nothing about himself has changed. He still uses the same artifacts and weapons, his raw damage is still superior, so the only difference now with the new 3.0 update is that his first Hydro application has become one of the staple ways you can utilize for creating Dendro cores. It could also be used for putting out the occasional burning targets in Burgeon team and for keeping up the consistent electro charge state so that quick bloom teams can function. But yeah, I just thought with my past video, I put a lot of focus on Kokomi as the queen of dendro cores. But in reality, after spending more time in the game, units like Ayato and Xing Cho really have shown me that they are also really flexible when it comes to the new dendro reactions. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I am just having a ton of blast with the new Dendro reactions. There's always something new I discover every day, and I have a lot of video ideas that I have started to work on. So if you want to stay up to date with my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and you can also help me out by leaving a like on this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.